Hi again, everyone. This is David with another episode of Advanced Squad Leader. And today we're, talk- we're going to Stalingrad. We're going to Red Factories. I just picked this up from Winter Offensive. You can see by the shine. Look at that. That's right. The shrink is still on it. So let's open this thing up and see what's inside. Stand by. Look at all of this ASL goodness. Let's zoom in here first and see what we got. Well, they got the yellow sheet here, of course, telling us what's in the what's in the box. And from there, we can see we have Chapter O, which is now known as Red Factories, with all the information that goes down and talks about the campaign games. Of course, with the Red Factories purchase sheet. But as we come to the counters, we see we have a number of counter sheets. First, we have two counter sheets for Red Barricades. Sheet 1 and Sheet 2. Uh, I played a game of uh, Red Barricades today. We definitely needed these to keep track of locations that were under various control. Now we have six sheets of Red October. Again, more control markers and so forth. And here's one that I want to bring your attention to. These are the first fire markers that are specialized. No longer do you have to try to, excuse me, um, try to keep track of what's firing by having your first fire marker cocked a certain way. Here we see the... AAMG is fired, or the all MGs, support weapons, inherit, etc. So it helps keep track of it through. And of course, the uh, astute player can also use that for the prep fire phase if you want, and you just work your way through it as you fire, you know, for example, inherit at this target and so forth. All right, it's probably more important for the defensive first fire phase. We also get over here, we have, oh, we'll come to that last. We have a campaign game force organizers here all the way through, Red Barricades and Red October, so you can run two at once. Here is something really cool. These are the update map overlays. So, as it says here, it's based on data released after the original Red Barricades map was published, but also we have gutted factories. So no longer do you have to imagine, you can cut these out according to the rules and then place them down on the map as you play. Another thing you're going to see here, and I'll get the four maps here. Uh, I'm not going to pull them out, don't really have the room right now. But if you look here, for example, uh, in here we have a map, or sorry, um, a factory, and it has its name, the Workshop Warehouse. And they got a various number of other buildings that are so named. Well, you can see right here we have the Mid Sword Shop, the Rolling Shop, Hall 1, and so on. Also, what you're going to see with the scenarios, uh, some of them are, are, you know, they're designated Romeo Bravo RB, 1, 2, and so on, uh, for red barricades. And as we get down more, we'll see that there are some, as we get to RO5, as an example, Men of Steel. So I'm not going to go through all that. I just wanted a quick teaser to get this out there. Um, Lots of goodness in this. It just got released this weekend at Winter Offensive, which, by the way, had a record attendance of 190 registered people, and they admit a couple of people probably came and maybe played a game here and there. But uh, I tell you, it was a great time to go. There was great product there, a lot of stuff for sale. And if you can, get yourself a copy of Red Factories, the latest by Multiman Publishing. All right, this is David with a very short video, and I hope you enjoy. Take care and roll low.